far as the BJP is concerned, really, in this Delhi Dangal, they're going ahead and licking their wounds by go questioning the Aam Army Party and saying that our campaign worked in going ahead and raising the issues and the allegations of scam and taint against some of the top leaders of the Aam Army Party. We referred to some of the data that's come in from constituencies of Satyendra Jain and Manish Sisodia. The BJP has latched onto this, saying, look at how ARPS performed here. The people of Delhi have sent across a very clear message that they will not accept scam tainted mantras. So this is clearly the narrative that the BJP is going with, Amit. They are saying that if you look at these kind of seats, which are supposedly strongholds of the Ahmadmi party, they haven't fared well. Which means the BJP believes that their campaign, whether it's Tihar Gate, Liquor Gate against Manish Sisodia, uh, against Satyendra Jain, whether it's the Vakaf scam against uh, Amanatullah Khan, all of these graft charges has led to a decrease in the vote share for the Ahmadmi party in the seats. We can certainly talk about these factors or claim that uh, these f uh, certain factors have contributed to their increased numbers in the MCD elections uh, and that is for every party to play it out in, in a way or spin it in a way that uh, benefits or at least uh, consolidates their claim. But having said that, you know, when you read uh, the ground level situation, it does not work out uh, the way uh, BJP is recording it right now. They must be surprised at the 100 mark that they have crossed because if you look at the visuals of the uh, BJP office uh, coming from this morning, there was complete sannata at the headquarters in Delhi, you know, the uh, regional headquarters in Delhi, which means that they were not prepared for this kind of results. And the, as the day progressed, they actually called the uh, Dholts and Nagaras and started to celebrate the moment at least that they have crossed the 100 mark. Now the reason behind it is how BJP improved its prospects is that because we had covered this election very closely from seat to seat, from area to area, from factors to factors. Uh, what we have been reporting is that BJP's candidate selection has gone right. They had depended on candidates who know how the MCD elections work, how these panchayati sort of elections work. And uh, I have personally seen their candidates, uh, you know, standing inside the polling stations at the last moment, in the last hour, uh, giving out water bottles to the voters. And uh, that makes a lot of difference. Plus, you also have to count in the rebel factor as to whether too many rebels have actually you know, uh, uh, damaged or uh, dented the Amadmi Party's vote share. Congress factor is also into play, but Congress has lost uh, its deposit on 188 seats, which means that it had fought elections on, uh, good elections on at least 70 seats. Now we have to uh, uh, get a closer look of those vote share as to whether the Congress candidates were able to get 5,000, 6,000 votes in those constituencies, because that's a big number yeah. which can actually upset But that's a large Party's number. Party. That's a large number to also lose your deposit in. It's a huge number to lose your deposit in. And that speaks volumes of how the Congress also needs to attempt damage control here. But focusing for the moment, Amit, stay on with me, focusing for the moment on the Bharatiya Janata Party.